here with your question. Okay. 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 Yes. Okay. 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 Right. If you have read and understood, considering it communication skill station, can you please begin? Hello, I'm Dr. Ahmed. I'm the SHO working for Mr. X. I'm calling to speak to the IT registrar to ask him about uh, an advice about uh, an unwell uh, patient who has been uh, admitted yesterday, uh, and uh, I uh, and I uh, and the patient is going to have. Uh, A laparotomy. Uh, so I'd like to uh, so I'd like to uh, get an advice uh, about him and arrange for an H arrange for an HDU uh, bed postoperatively. Could I check? I'm speaking to Mr. X. Okay, it's me. Okay. How is the consultant of the case? Uh, it's Mr. X. Okay, and summarize your case, please. Uh, okay. Um, uh, there is a Mr. 58 years old. Um, who has uh, presented uh, to us uh, with uh, a severe abdominal pain and vomiting, uh, and uh, it and this suggested uh, a perforated uh, viscous. Uh, the patient uh, uh, on examination has a rigid and acute abdomen, 
uh, and also uh, the patient uh, has um, dark urine um, and uh, uh, the patient is known uh, uh, to be uh, uh, alcoholic uh, and he is non-smoker. Uh, the patient uh, also uh, uh, has uh, an increased creatinine and the metabolic acidosis. Uh, we did uh, uh, some imaging which uh, shows uh, uh, an abdominal ultrasound shows intra-abdominal uh, fluid collection. Uh, and uh, and also a chest x-ray shows no un no uh, air under the frame so can ask you some advice uh, about uh, about this patient for uh, for the patient optimization before uh, the surgery and also for, and also the possibility of arranging an HDU bed post operatively yes sure but first why do you think it is a perforated viscous uh, because uh, the patient on examination has uh, signs of uh, peritonitis uh, and also uh, his abdominal ultrasound shows uh, a free intra-abdominal collection and hemoglobin uh, also has dropped by 2 grams. Yeah. And uh, how would you like to start by fluid resuscitation? Okay, I will uh, start by a uh, fluid challenge. Uh, start by a crystalloid uh, um, uh, rapidly, uh, inf rapidly infused to the patient, uh, about uh, 500 uh, Milli per uh, 50 uh, in, in the 15 minutes, then I will um, monitor the response. If a patient shows uh, uh, no response, I will uh, uh, give him another fluid challenge. If no response, I will consider uh, colloids and also I will cross uh, match for bloods uh, because of the decreased hemoglobin. Okay, and apart from uh, the radiological imaging you have performed, what are the preoperative arrangements you suggest for the patient? Okay, uh, I will uh, give the patient uh, um, a, a high flow oxygen uh, via, uh, via Venturi mask because the patient is a COPD and uh, I will keep uh, the patient uh, oxygen saturation less than normal. Uh, and also I will uh, give the patient uh, broad spectrum antibiotics uh, and I will uh, repeat uh, the chest X-ray and abdominal uh, sonar for him. Also, I will uh, um, I will uh, insert uh, a urinary catheter for him for monitoring uh, the uh, for monitoring the uh, fluid balance, and um, also I will uh, make an ECG for the patient to look for uh, any signs of arrhythmia or uh, or atrial fibrillation uh, or hypokalemia, uh, and uh, also uh, because the patient is a COPD uh, patient, I will uh, check if the patient is on steroids. Uh, I will shift for IV hydrocortisone, and uh, I will and I will also contact the um, anesthetist in charge for to review the patient. Okay, and uh, you mentioned that the patient COPD. What is the suitable oxygen mask for this patient? Uh, it's a Venturi mask. Okay, and how much fractionated inspired oxygen suitable uh, to be delivered this, to this patient? About uh, twenty four to twenty eight percent. Okay, and um, how to calculate the, uh, the potassium deficit in a patient? Uh, okay, um, any reduction of, uh, of, of serum potassium by 0.3 millimole per liter, uh, so the total deficit uh, of the potassium will be uh, 100 millimole. Okay, and how to replace the potassium? Okay, uh, according to the, uh, the, the result of the potassium of the patient, uh, if the patient uh, serum potassium is uh, uh, is less than uh, uh, three, okay. Oh, if if it is less than uh, three, uh, I will uh, three millimeter millimole per liter. Uh, I will give him uh, a potassium chloride, uh, ten uh, ten milli equivalent, uh, uh, one ampoule uh, in in every slowly slowly per per one hour uh, for one ampoule. And I will repeat it uh, for five doses uh, in the in the in the next five hours. And if the serum potassium is uh, from uh, three to three point five millimole uh, per liter, uh, I will give him uh, one ampoule of uh, potassium chloride, which contains a ten milli equivalent uh, uh, IV slowly, uh, um, also uh, over one hour uh, for three doses. And uh, I will check uh, the level. Okay. And what are the criteria for admission in uh, ITU? Okay, uh, if if there is a, a, a two, uh, if it is a, there is acute uh, uh, two organ system uh, failure, which is in, in uh, which will be reversible if they are treated, or if the patient uh, has respiratory uh, condition or respiratory failure and needs um, 
a ventilation either invasive or non-invasive, and in um, and in uh, in urgent cases which uh, or in acute cases which needs uh, one-to-one nursing care, and also mm-hmm. if uh, there is a chronic failure of one organ uh, and another uh, uh, another organ system might be affected uh, because of uh, of this failure. Okay, and if I have one IQ bed left and there is a, a lady with asthma coming first, um, who should I choose for this bed? Um, okay, um, yeah, sure. Uh, the first, uh, the first patient to come and uh, needs the ITU uh, uh, should be admitted, and uh, I will continue uh, monitor uh, uh, my patient in uh, the recovery room uh, after the operation until uh, the bed is available. Okay, and uh, how would you like to involve in the management of this patient? Okay, I will uh, involve uh, uh, the ITU registrar to whom I'm talking. And mm-hmm. also the surgical consultant, and also um, uh, um, uh, and also uh, I will um, medical team will involve a chest, a chest, a chest consultant. Okay, and endocrinologist as well. Because yes. patient is on uh, COPD, uh, is COPD, and will be taking steroid. And well, and uh, okay, and also I will. Uh, I will. Uh, I will consult. I consult also an internal uh, medicine uh, consultant because the patient is um, hypertensive uh, and uh, has In hypercholesterolemia. Yeah, Okay, and maybe anesthetic as well. Yes. Why anesthetic? You tell me why. In ITU. When uh, ITU registrars cannot manage the patients, then that's the anesthetist uh, who take care of yes. the patient. Yes. Even uh, they cannot even take the IV lines sometimes, or in if patient collapses or something happens, and they need to intubate the patient uh, because patient saturation is also heart rate is high, patient is in AF, so if patient collapses or something and you need to intubate, so that's why for for the sake of safety. Yes. Well, that's good. Thank you.